Yeah, type Mayhem album covers. There's no way there's a picture on Google of... Man, I, I don't know why this is so interesting to me, but I really want to do... Listen. There it is. Are you freaking joking me? No way. Hey, dash though. I can talk my ass off. Hey, smoke you what you seen and I'll tell you what I saw. Hollywood, what you think and I'll tell you what I thought. And we can talk about it all when we hear on trash talk. What's going on everybody we're back with another episode of the trash talkers podcast we made it we made it smoke yeah bro. what is up broski man not much not much you know we were talking last week about it just being a mundane weekly thing you know monotonous that's just what it's been this week. That's what it's been. <laughs> just another typical week. You know, I'm I, waiting for something big to happen. Did anything interesting happen your weekend? Just typical. Not, oh, I got to drive my newer RC car. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, it is new. It was, I flipped it over, and it's not really new looking anymore. <laughs> but you, you got it that day and flipped it over? No, well, I got it like a week before, before I drove it the first time. It's a cheetah, and this thing is like, I mean, it'll do like 60, 70 top speed. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's ridiculously fast. Man, I went uh I went to O four four in uh Piedmont Park, you know, to, yeah. with some fr- friends and family and oh, got, yeah. got on little scooters and rode around on scooters <laughs> yeah. and then there was a there was like a Jamaican reggae festival that was going on there. Yeah. And when I tell you l- literally it just smelled like straight weed. Oh yeah. And the cops just don't care. They yeah. just like, we don't care. Piedmont Park is probably the happiest place in Atlanta. If y'all come to Atlanta, visit Old Fourth Ward and Piedmont Park. You'll yeah. Like yeah, like everybody's just out there happy, <laughs> you know, it's just fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in the middle of this bustle of a, a, a thriving metropolis there, you know, where people are just down and out and just society's done kicked their ass. But you go to Piedmont Park and they're having fun. Good old people throwing frisbees. <laughs> yeah. You know? And those the scooters, man, just going on little adventures like, oh, what's over here, man? Yeah. That's a way to get away from it all. A hundred percent. All right. Before we get started, y'all, you know, we, we, we read the top comments from the previous uh, podcast. So uh, top, com- top three comments. Uh, from last podcast is from Randy Whistler. Randy Whistler says Wendy was the queen of punk from her solo stuff to her years with her band, The Plasmatics. Mm-hmm. Wendy just didn't give a fuck. Obviously. Apparently she didn't or she did not. <laughs> um all right, next one. Um oh, sorry, here just running through these guys. Next one is from Lo- uh, Laura uh, Laura Moyer. Uh, Johnny Rotten's real name, Johnny uh, Lydon, had a better music career after Sex Pistols ban- disbanded. Really? Yeah, wow. Uh, they kicked Sid out because of his use of heroin. Sid and Nancy were a destructive pair. Johnny Lydon formed PIL, Public Image Limited, and were much more successful in a different way. Johnny Rotten slash Lyndon is a character who is amazing and hilarious. Wow, now that you mention that, Sid and Nancy, that rings a bell. Was there not a movie about them? Not Called sure. Sid, Sid and Nancy. Oh, that does sound familiar. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to check that out. All right. Also, um, uh, number three, uh, highest, uh, number three podcast. Uh, what, what am I saying here? The number three comment. Comment. Top. <laughs> top. This is the third top comment. Yeah. Uh, it's from Lexi Porter. Freezing Moon is a good starting point with mayhem. Freezing Moon mm. live at what? Well, apparently, Vakin. Vakin. O four is a g- good live song. It is pronounced yeah. Vakin, right? I think Vakin. Yeah. We always say Whackin. <laughs> and them boys are whacking in my shed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like a couple of spider monkeys. A hundred percent. Shout out to you guys for being the top commenters, and thank you guys so much for all the positive reception. Mm-hmm. All right, we're 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 getting further and further down this list. Now. <laughs> yeah. Now, Wendy, that I had no clue who she was. Yeah. But sounds like someone who would be interesting to party with. I'll yeah. Say that. I'm wondering if it's going to continue on like that. If we're just going to get so far into the depths of it that we just don't know these guys. Like, I don't know. How much of this is lore? Mm. <laughs> like, and how much is, is it's actual. Fact. Yeah. Question. Like, you think some of these people probably had such a big personality that things got painted on them that didn't actually happen good question you know like a lot of people say that about ozzy they're like yeah he was a drug addict you know and he did a lot of crazy stuff but 
his uh, persona, you know, his the character grew bigger than what he actually was. Right, you know? right. I mean, you, you're you're the prince of darkness. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna kind of, <laughs> gonna kind of, yeah, take on a life of its own uh, there. A hundred percent. But yeah, you know, so previous was Wendy, Sid Vicious, and uh, uh, Johnny Rotten and Jello uh, and Jello. Yeah. Yeah, and we really didn't get much information from Jello. And again, on the podcast, you know, we try to we well we read every comment on the podcast. We make sure to do that. But now this going down the list. Mm-hmm. So what is what are we at? We at number six. Now, right? Number six. Yes. So we'll do six, five, and four today. Yes. And then next Tuesday yeah, we'll, we'll be, be at the top three. Top three most. Let's see if mayhem falls in there. Yeah. Or uh, like they were mentioning Gigi Allen. If Gigi Allen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I mean, you would think. I mean, people are saying mayhem, but you would think Gigi Allen has to be number one. Well, see, I don't know. I only know what I've seen. Like, I've seen a few clips and what you've told me. Yeah. I mean, but this this list is kind of, it's out there. Yeah. So, Gigi Allen, I mean, he may not be on this list. Mayhem may not be on this list. Yeah. Maybe there's someone that we have no clue who he is. Like Jello. We didn't yeah. know who Jello was. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know, I mean, it's getting deeper and deeper, so maybe it's not the people who are in the forefront, in the limelight, you know? I don't know, man, but see, that adds more to the mystique to it to me. It's mm-hmm. like, there are people out there that we don't know anything about. Yes. Like, alright, this is gonna sound kind of crazy, but is there like a, 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 um, someone in music that was like a serial killer? Like, just mm-hmm. like killed like ten people and still made music? Like, what if that dude's number one? Yeah. You know, ha, you... I mean, well, they're saying Mayhem did some crazy things, but I don't know about serial killer status. Can you think of anyone that... In... I mean, Charles Manson, I which wasn't actually a serial killer, but, you know, he was involved in a lot of killings. Well, he never killed anyone. No, not himself. He had people do it. He provoked, you know, that's why he was more of a cult leader than a serial killer. So what is he in jail for? Oh, he's dead now. I think he died a few years okay, ago. So, well, what was he in jail for? Uh, <laughs> was it conspiracy to commit murder or something along those lines? Hmm. Yeah, just being the figurehead behind murders, basically. Man. And, it, you know, his accomplices were uh, in prison for life also. There's, um, you know, there's um, uh, parole hearings that the members try to get out on each time, and then people always show up. And convince the judge that they should not be paroled. Don't let them out. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. See that? I I don't trash talkers. Let us know. Are there any serial killers in music? <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, I'm just saying, if there is, that person has to be on this list. Yeah. Like, well, if there's a serial killer, then that would have to be number one. I would imagine. See, but you look. Well, yeah. I was gonna bring up Mike Patton, but then again, he did some things like yeah, he did some crazy stuff. Obviously. Yeah. And there's a movie we need to watch about that. There's a Mike Patton movie? A uh, firecracker from Oh, that's... Yes, we did see that. Yeah. All right, well, all right, let's jump into it. Number six. Mm-hmm. So, for number six, we have someone you... I Okay, it's King Diamond. Yes, we tried to explore King Diamond, right? Yeah, didn't didn't it get blocked? 13 Days of Halloween? Yes, I think so. Oh, I think it... No, yeah, I, I'm thinking of the other King. You're thinking uh, of King 810. No, no. There was a the Progressive, the guy they said uh, pretty much invented Progressive. King Crimson. King Crimson, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Man. Well, we did do a King Diamond also I, during the 13 Days of Halloween, right? Yes. And I hope y'all can join us for the 13 Days of Halloween. It's oh, yeah. all spookiness. Best you know, time of the year. We got the, 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 the studio all spookied out. It's pretty cool, man. Yeah. But, what did King Diamond do? All right, so King Diamond. So according to the synopsis, uh, he says now we're starting, or it says now we're starting to get into some of the heavier guys. King Diamond straight up follows Satanism and carries around a mic hand, mic handle made of one femur and one tibia bone, making a literal crossbone. Ah. He also used real human skulls as props. Is that even legal? Uh, I mean, I'm sure it is if you. How do you... You can't just... I mean, walk. like, you could have a, a skeleton at a museum. Yeah, but that's a museum. Yeah, I mean, I guess also if someone donates their body after death, you know, it's legal to use their... Where, first of all, where do you even get a human skull? Like, hey, I need a human skull for my show. Where do you get... Where are you getting this from? Um, 
scientists science uses you know dead bodies uh, cadavers i'm sorry i'd i'd feel weird dude yeah so uh, <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> yeah I, I'd feel weird. think that's what he's going for <laughs> good point good point so then it also says king diamond didn't pose as a devil worshiper he actually was one taking it a few steps further than his predecessor alice cooper his na- his albums speak of demonic ritual being skinned alive mm. having your eyeballs taken out among other easily listening uh, subjects easy listening, listening sub- <laughs> yeah oh yeah i'm sure that just flows right through <laughs> right on in there yeah i mean okay I did not. Okay, I, after seeing, damn it, do you remember what song we did by King Diamond? I'd have to look it up, man. I can't remember right off the top. Was it? For some reason, I always want to equate them with typo negative. For some reason, I don't know why. Well, because we did them both for the thirteen days of Halloween. Huh. But mm, typo negative, is something I do know about, and I love typo negative. Yes. Um. So we did. Oh wow, we. So we did ha- Halloween. Oh, okay. See, I was about to say Halloween, but there was another band called Halloween. Hell- yes. So I was like, that can't be it. Hmm. Okay, so Halloween was the song we did by King so, Diamond. So let's just talk. Let's talk this out. Mm-hmm. What does it take for a human being to proclaim themselves as a Satanist? Yes. To proclaim his music to be uh, to talk about rituals and you know satanic rituals and stuff like that. And have a femur and a tibia bone to make your <laughs> mic hand while holding a human skull. What? Well, you have to be in, immersed in the culture, and you have to be wanting to shock people. That is that all it is? Is it just wanting to be shocking? Well, that's what, um, like I said, you have to be immersed in the culture if you're. Is this the one? Is this the guy that actually attended a satanic church that made music about it? Maybe. And if y'all don't know what we're talking about, when we did uh, Ghost Year Zero, I think it was. Yeah. We were like, are there any real Satanists in music? Yeah. And we've mentioned it on a few of them when they touch on this topic. You know, are are there real Satanists? Not not like the LaVey Satanists, but actual Satanists. People who pray to Satan. You know, there I, there were a few people in the comments that said that they were. And again, yeah. if you guys want to come on camera, we we got questions. Yeah. But see, but this is what's crazy. We we vow to never bring religion and politics in it. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm gonna ask you this. So then, why is it okay to bring a Satanist? If we said no religion, no politics. Well, we only touch on the the religion if the music is actually pertaining to the religion. Okay. Okay. I mean, you can't get away from that. We've we've done some political songs. Yeah. Like, but but we're not choosing sides here. That's that's the the line in the sand right there. Is that yeah. we're not choosing a side. Yeah, that's for you guys to decide. We're just going to talk about what comes up in the music. Yeah, and we're we're legitimately interested about it. Like, we yeah. want to know. Me and Smokey, the type of people, if we find something out, we want to know about it. Like, tell me more. What else about it? What yeah. else about it? What else about it? We're literal sponges. I mean, <laughs> yeah. we were called SpongeBob Squarehead when we were in high school. Yeah, that that was verbatim. SpongeBob That's, Squarehead. Yeah, it was even before SpongeBob SquarePants came out, so it was crazy oh, that they dude, called us that. They might owe us some money. I bet they do, they, man. That was our title first. Yeah. It- I mean, it wasn't the pants. I mean, maybe, maybe that's the loophole is that the they're talking about pants, and we were square heads. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. You literally with a square head. <laughs> I literally have a square head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's at number five? <laughs> Right, go ahead. <laughs> you remind me of that hey, you, the guy on was it TikTok? The guy with the square head that oh, kind of yes, looks like you. You know how many freaking people sent me that? <laughs> I it, bet, dude. I mean, there's just type square head, uh, square head meme guy. Yeah, and I got that from so many people. There's like, <laughs> hey, Billy sent it to me. He said, "Is this you?" <laughs> it does kind of look like it you. does. I'm not a little gonna more lie. square than you. Oh, like, a lot more, more square. That dude he says he swallowed a, a, a GameCube <laughs> or <a> toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's got a freaking. It's literal a square. Hey, look him up though. He's a cool guy. Like I like his content, man. Oh wait, he does stuff. Yeah, that guy's a he's a he's a, content a social creator. media guy, yeah, yeah, influencer. Okay, yeah. who who we got? Who's number five on the most insane artist? <clears throat> number five, another guy we've never heard of. Maybe you have. I haven't. His name is Dead. Per Allen. His name? Wait, wait. His name's Dead Per Allen. Wait. Did they not say the guy, the lead singer of Mayhem, was called Dead? Oh, wait. Is this the guy? Okay, read the synopsis. 
All right. Dude, wait. If okay, wait. This is it, okay. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> if this is him, he's number five. Number five. So the trash talkers talked up like this guy was like the most, the most evil. Shall I read? Or well, let's go. Uh, <laughs> now we're getting into the Norwegian black metal scene. I which think this is it. Is truly hardcore. Perhaps the hardest, of course. Allen. I guess that's how you say it. Allen is credited with being the first black metal musician to don corpse paint. Though he was around for very little of it, many enthusiasts consider Dead to be the most important figure in black metal history and mythology. Wow. He was certainly the most pure. He was extremely aloof, bandmates say of Dead, adding that he longed for the comfort of the coffin. Wow. He'd bury himself and his clothes underground. He'd bury himself and his clothes oh, wow. underground so that he could achieve a more realistic fragrance of death. Wow. The fact wow. that, just, hold on, you said so he can achieve a more realistic fragrance of death. Now, we don't know if this is the guy, it did it, did it, it said mayhem, right? It doesn't say. All right, so uh, keep going. Is there anything else? Even though Dead was the most metal, he was still severely depressed. So much so that he took his own life by slicing his wrist and shooting himself in the head with a shotgun no. for good measure. Last message to bandmates. Uh, he said, excuse all the blood. Cheers. Look it up. Look it up now because it doesn't say mayhem in here. Look up who was the lead singer of Mayhem, if you will. All right, let's see. Who was... I thought they said his name was Dead, right? I, or was it Death? I, I, let's let's see. Uh, singer of Mayhem. Because I know the trash talkers have said... Okay, Mayhem is her name in Oslo featuring Austin. It's not Per Allen. No, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do members of mayhem. Yeah. That's crazy. So this is the godfather of black metal. All right. So, what, all right. Talk to me. What you got? What, what what's his name? His name is Per P E R Allen O H L I N. Let's just because I'm not seeing nothing. Per Allen. And it doesn't P say the band. O L what? O L. Per Allen. O H L I N. O H L I N band. Okay, so he was. So he was just in a musician, a band called Dead. Okay, so that's just the band Dead. Huh. Okay, so maybe I'm conflating what someone said, because I thought they were saying the lead singer of Mayhem was named Dead. Man. The dar it says the darkest band in hit. Wait a minute, hold on. Uh, and y'all excuse this because, because it's saying mayhem. What are you? No, look, look. Per oh. Allen, better known by his stage name Dead, yeah, was... lead singer of Mayhem, black oh, yeah, metal band Mayhem, mayhem. from nineteen eighty eight wow. until his death okay. in ninety one. Wow, only three years. What do you mean? He was only with them for three yeah, years? Yeah, the band started in 88, and he killed himself in 91. Wow, dude. So this is it. This is the guy. Okay, let's let's talk about this for a minute. All right. He's number five on this list. Yeah. So, now we've, we've talked about King Diamond before, like having human bones. We've talked about Wendy Williams using objects lewdly. We've yeah. talked about people defecating at things, spitting in each other's mouths. Mm -hmm. But in this, th maybe this isn't a good synopsis of what he did because only thing, I mean, yes, cutting yourself, you're cutting your wrist and, and then shooting yourself in the head, that's pretty gnarly. But the way he, the trash talkers talked him up was like, this guy was just like, what you got? Oh, I was just bringing I mean, up the, the article. So I want to, I want to see, let's see. Uh, Oh, yeah, because it didn't really. I mean, I was expecting like this dude to be a cannibal, or yeah, you know what well, I mean. Like, I would have to go back through the comments again, but they were saying that there were murders involved with this band, right? Yes. So, all right, hold on. <laughs> Definitely, guys, leave all the information down in the comments. We have to learn more about Dead. 
man, how? Okay, this is this is interesting to me. And are they still going on? And I'm sorry that we're we're being. Well, uh, I, I guess unless they went on with a new lead singer. I think they did. That's uh. Man, uh, now I want to look that up. <laughs> we're just googling yeah. everything now. Well, no, no, no. All right, so yes, yeah, I think they do have a new lead singer. But all right, yeah, let me let's get away from this. Um, I, I man, this is one. Man, I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed because I I wanted to hear. This is gonna be all on you guys, trash talkers. That literally, we need to. We want the comments to like tell us. Yeah, tell us what we he did. we need a documentary's worth of information on this guy. Dude, I almost want to watch a documentary on Mayhem now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm bringing up the should, Wikipedia I, for I the band. I just looked at it. Okay, that that's what you just yeah, read. Yeah, I just looked at it. So they were formed yeah. in Langus. Uh, they were one of the founders, Norwegian. Okay, uh, so. Wait, this is and the 1993 murder of uh, guitarist. All right, uh, Arseth. by former by the former member. So, oh, so this band goes deeper than just the lead singer. Yeah, yeah. So I that's guess, what they were saying. That there's also murders involved, but it wasn't necessarily just the lead singer doing all this. Right. This band is just according crazy. to what that just said. It said that that one guitarist was kicked out and ended up killing the new guitarist. That is crazy. That's bananas. Dude, that's bananas. Yeah, what you got? That's some hip hop stuff. Dude. And they're still going on. Nineteen ninety five. Ninety five to present. Wow. So think about this. Your lead singer is the one of the craziest musicians who ever lived, mm -hmm. and then he offs himself. Mm -hmm. Later on, you kick a guitar out, a guitarist out, and then you bring in a new guitarist and he offs to replace the two that you kicked out and the dead guy. And now you're still performing. That's crazy. That Dude. I would almost feel like the band name would be cursed, you know? And Yeah. You Mayhem know, is right though. The name of the band is Mayhem a, is right. That is the perfect name. Wow. Now the question is is do they still have, are they still doing antics like this? Are they still you know, are they, and you know what? I wanna know. In every Every uh, most of every uh, person that's been on this, they've touched on them being on drugs or on heroin or stuff yes. like that. But they didn't mention drugs about dead. Like, was he on drugs? What what made him commit? Yeah, that? I don't think they put enough information in the I synopsis. Agree. I, I think there's a lot more to this story. I will say this: he became the lead singer in '88, from what that said. Mm -hmm. This band started in '84, so he wasn't the original. There were members singer. before him. Man, wow! I I don't I don't know why this is fascinating to me. Like this list is fascinating to me. <laughs> yeah. Once we start getting into like the, like the top five right now, you know? Yeah. Like it's like this guy buried himself. Yeah, but to become more one with and with the, a corpse, and he left his his um uh, his his death death note said excuse yeah. all the blood. Yeah. Ch Cheers. Like cheers. No, we're not cheersing that. But maybe they we're not toasting to that. Maybe the band was like, Hey Okay, he did they it. They saw that as the pinnacle. He earned it. They was like, Man, he finally did it. Yeah, he finally did like it. Crazy, maybe. like yeah. You or know, were they like, That son bitch actually did it? And not only that, Norway We thought he was just talking about it. Uh they said Norway, right? Norwegian, yes. Yeah, so in Norway there's a lot of I think and maybe Mayhem might have been connected to this, but I remember reading somewhere or it might have been from the comments from the trash talkers mm -hmm. but it was something about like church burnings because of yeah like you know what I'm talking i about? saw that yeah like there was a lot of church burnings in norway and if i'm not mistaken i want to say norway might be the birthplace of of black metal yeah, yeah. that's what they said that this is the godfather of black metal from norway i think i think they said dead was swedish though didn't he like he was born in sweden i mean they're right up the street from each other yeah well i, got I can bring that back up right here I thought he was born in Sweden. Uh, birth. Oh, that's his birth name. I thought it was going to say birthplace. Uh, uh, early life right here. Born in 1969 in Sweden. I thought yes. so. Beautiful place. Beautiful yeah. place. Crazy yeah. stuff, though. Yeah. Trash talkers, y'all going to have to. You know how you watch all these documentaries? Mm-hmm. 
I'm time to see a mayhem yeah, documentary. It's time to see a mayhem yeah. documentary. Yeah, just, definitely. Just to see what it's We might need to do a whole podcast Ooh. on mayhem. After we do some research. Yeah. After we do yeah, some research. Exactly. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. All right, King Diamond was number six. Yeah. Dead for Mayhem was number five. <clears throat> Who is crazier than Mayhem than Dead for Mayhem? We haven't even hit the top three. That's next Tuesday. Yes, exactly. So, so now number four is <laughs> a person named Euronymous. Euronymous. Yeah, it looks like Euronymous. Euronymous. I yeah. actually like that name. If, yeah. you're, if you're European, Euronymous. All right, so here we go. Euronymous definitely piggybacked the movement that Dead worked. Oh wow! Speaking ah. about Dead, so Euronymous uh, definitely piggybacked the movement that Dead worked so hard and gave his life to start. So much so that he actually is the one who found Dead. Wow! So it's okay. So he's the guy that found him dead. Uh, dead. Oh, he found Dead. Dead. He found Dead. Dead in their apartment. <laughs> wow! It, listen, listen to this. Instead of calling authorities like normal, like a normal human being, he took pictures, collected bone fragments, and said to have made a ghoulish goulash out of pieces of Dead's brain. Oh my God! Mm. Wow. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me continue here. Musically. Euronymous was the mastermind behind Mayhem. So that's two members mm -hmm. in Mayhem that are in the top five. That's mm -hmm. two members. Uh, so yeah, he was uh, the mastermind behind Mayhem, starting the band four years prior to De Dead showing up on the scene, like you said. And after Dead passed, though, things got a little out of control. During what some believe was a power struggle over money and others believe was one-upmanship, one Euronymousness was stabbed to death by Varg, a.k.a. Count. Okay. The Count claimed self-defense and that Euronymous was actually pl plotting to torture him when he showed up for a meeting, but ended up being found guilty, guilty regardless. All right, hold on. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, dude. What is, what is going on, man? No, what's going on in the band Mayhem, man? Yeah. What's that about, dude? Okay, listen, dude. If you come... Oh, my God. Imagine going to your your homeboy's house, and you find him dead. Mm -hmm. First thing you want to do is probably call the police. That's the first yeah. thing you want to do. Yeah. Because literally, as a normal person, that would traumatize But you. these guys were fascinated with death. Exactly. So he collects... He collects uh, bone fragments. Yeah. He takes pictures and video... And makes a goulash from brain fragments. And from what I hear, they use the picture of him dead as an album cover. Can we Google Brain that? spilled? I mean, I don't think it wouldn't be shown on Google. There's no way. Hold on, I'm gonna find out. There's no way that's shown up on Google. T yeah, type mayhem album covers. There's no way there's a picture on Google. Of man, I I don't know why this is so interesting to me, but I really want to do listen. There it is. Are you freaking joking me? No way. They use that as an album cover. Bro, you can see the slit wrist. We can't show that on, oh my on the God, screen. Oh my God, that is his brain hanging out. Yeah. Wow. This is... Wow. Oh, God. I can't even... I don't, oh my God. Ugh. Woo! What is going on over there, guys? Damn, mm. dude, that's an album cover. I mean, that nineties were a crazy time, though. Yeah, but dude, for you to be, man, that 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 disgusts me in my heart, dude. Mm. That really hurts my freaking heart, like my soul. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I mean, unless they were just like, if they no, I can, I can't. I'm not even gonna try to justify this. But like, I think about Dad's pan family. Think about his uncles, his cousins, his aunts, his mom, his dad. Do you think that they really wanted his picture, his picture as the album, as an cover? album cover? I mean, yeah. literally, and we can't show it. We can't yeah. show it. Yeah. Feel free to do it if you want, but you I will can say look it up if you want. Yes, it, I will say if you have a weak stomach, just be wary. Yeah. You know, the closest thing <laughs> I can relate this to in hip hop. I bet I, I know. Who you are. No, no. This was a guy that was coming up in the horror course scene. He wasn't. He wasn't good at all. He, I think he's still in prison. As a matter of fact, this guy called himself Psycho Sam. 
he wanted to be a horrorcore rapper, right? And he uh, hooked up with this girl online. He was like a, a nerdy kid that got picked on as a kid, and uh, he became fascinated with horrorcore and wanted to actually do the things in those lyrics, right? So he met this girl over the internet who was quite young, if I remember the story right, <clears throat> and her parents allowed him to go to this horrorcore festival with Sam. So it didn't go that well. Once she actually got to know him along the trip, she kind of pushed him away and uh, ended up, I think, uh, seeing another guy or something, you know, as the story goes. And so when they get back to the girl's house, he murders the girl, the dad, and the mother. Wow. Stays in the house with them for days. Wow. And once um, people started catching on, you know, family members are calling and whatnot, and uh, police ended up showing up. He stole the car and went on a trip, like, cross-country until wow. they, they actually found him. And they said when they found him, he still smelled like a corpse. Oh, my God. Yeah. Why is that guy not on here? I guess he wasn't big enough. Yeah, he wasn't a big enough artist, but... Well, is, was that truth? Like, that's a true that's story. A, really? Look true. it up. Psycho Sam is... I think he's still in a Virginia Do we uh, say prison. allegedly on this? You could say allegedly, but the story's out there, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know anything. I didn't see anything myself. I'm just saying the story that's on the internet. And, I mean, you can look up his music. You can look up the hey, story. You can I look won't up tell everything. if you... Sure you didn't, buddy. <laughs> sure Dude, you didn't. I never... Like, hey, hey, hey. I knew a lot of the kids that were coming up in the horrorcore scene, but <laughs> I'd never heard about him until after right. these things had happened. Damn, dude. Yeah, it, it's... There's a borderline. Like, music is art, but when you start to... It, like, again, when you start to do things that you're mentioning in your music, and yeah. I get it, I'm all for it. I, one thing I've always said is, like, and this was, you know, a while back, is I like when gangster rappers do gangster shit. You know, I don't want you to be a gangster rapper, you know, talking about, hey, I've been out here doing that, and you're you you're at the library all day. If you gangster, or like, like think about this. <laughs> Gucci Man and Jeezy. Gucci's one of my favorite rappers. Gucci's talking all like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. When he actually saw the guy, he did what he was talking about. And I know mm -hmm. it sounds a little crazy, but it's like, when you're, like, um, Ice Cube, you know, gangster rapper, F the police. The police yeah. said, you cannot perform this. Okay, well. F the police. Well, but horrorcore is a different story. No, no, no. I'm not talking horrorcore. I'm just talking. I mean, even Ice Cube had natural born killers. Yes, you know, him and, and he Dre was also... wasn't murdering people. No, I, I, I'm not going that far. I yeah. mean, Gucci Man did that in self defense. Yeah. But um, like. You're just saying don't be soft. You know. I mean, just like if you say okay, like Rick Ross and Fifty Cent were beefing. Fifty Cent said, "When I see Rick Ross, I'm gonna slap him." Guess what mm -hmm. Fifty Cent did. Yeah. Slap the shit out of them. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to talk about it, be about it. To a limit. Yeah. There's a there's a limit now. <laughs> yeah. We, I mean, These guys talked about it and did it. Yeah, like, I mean, there's a lot of drill rappers that talk about, I mean, rest in peace King Von, rest in peace Nipsey, mm -hmm. Hussey, I mean, N Nipsey Hussle. I mean, a lot of these people were talking about doing this to the ops, your opposite side, and they would kill their ops. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, I don't know. Music is... It's meant to be enjoyed, man. What I it? think a, a lot of times music is an outlet to get that, it, that young angst that, out of you mm -hmm. to where you're not doing it in real life. Yes, yeah. I mean, I think you you said it right with just not being soft. Like, yeah. of course you're not. Oh, I, I, I chopped her body up and made liver. Yeah. And Don't ate claim a chicken you're dinner. gonna beat up your enemy and then run when you see. Him. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It, yeah. I want my gangster rappers to do gangster shit. Don't kill nobody. Yeah. But if you, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, just yeah, be about it. Yeah, uh, what, just uh, if you if you ain't about it, don't proclaim don't. you're all hard and blah blah blah. Uh, what, but uh, damn, Killer Mike said uh, uh he said, man, uh, spit it vivid because I live it. You don't walk it. You just talk it. Mm -hmm. That is hard. Spit it vivid, cause I live it. You don't walk it. You just talk it, and that's it. He, he spit. The reason these rhymes sound so good, the reason these guys' music may sound good to some of y'all, is because they're vividly living it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And yeah. they don't. They're not just talking it. They walk it. Mm -hmm. I don't know which. I actually grew into that. Like, 
you know, as a kid, we made music that was hardcore, yes, you know, very. and horrorcore and gangster rap and things like that. And it was to get out that young, rebellious period of your life. Like, now I grew into, if I make music now, it's going to be my real life situations, yeah, you know, that's... rather than just proclaiming what I'm going to do to somebody. You yeah. Know? Like, I mean, that's, that's, that's us growing as artists, you know, yeah. that's us growing yeah. as artists. Um, yeah, we are we're totally different artists than what we used to be some say we're yeah. better now than we were back then and there's music coming very soon very very soon mm-hmm. um no nah, but man it's um like i could bring up the story where I, when i made that me and my sister made that song i think i <laughs> yeah. told it before yeah you did on a on a podcast yeah. but anyway we're running long yeah, we'll we get are. to that <laughs> all right small dog what up let's get into some omg and some wtf absolutely and if you guys are new here omg does not stand for oh my god it stands for oh my georgia and wtf does not stand for what the fuck it stands for what the florida what the florida smoke all right so what we've been doing and i know there's actually been people who have done something along this lines before where they'll do like two uh headlines and you guess which one is from Florida and which one is from somewhere else. And that's what we're doing okay. still. Okay. All right. <clears throat> which one is from Georgia and which one is from Florida? All right. All right. What you got? <clears throat> drunk driver. Hands. I already know. I already know. <laughs> that's a drunk driver hands. I already know where this is going. <laughs> what is it? Come on now. Go ahead. Well, let me hear what he hands. All right. A drunk driver hands police officer a beer after crashing in to the police officer. Oh my car. god, are you serious? <laughs> All right, I let me hear the Florida one. What well, do you mean here the Florida one? Because that's Georgia. Guess that's which Georgia. Which. That's Georgia. Man steals car with baby inside, then drops baby off at a nearby gas station. Well, at least he didn't take the baby and do something terrible yeah. with it yeah exactly oh see now i want to know which one came from florida right, so and which one came from georgia i'm, I'm i want to go with the guy taking the baby in georgia mm-hmm. no I'm, yeah, I'm gonna stick with my original i'm gonna say the cop the guy that hit the cop drunk handed the cop a beer and said hey have a swig and the baby is gonna be florida uh yeah your first thought is correct i'm correct cool all right um this one comes from georgia Man, uh, yeah, man crashed his car into a patrol car in Dunwoody, Georgia. What? I used to live in Dunwoody. I went to freaking high school in Dunwoody. Yeah. Wait, what year did this happen? Uh, it actually doesn't give the the year on this little synopsis. For some reason, I want to say I remember this. If this was like 2000 and 2000, 2001? Hmm. No? Okay, you may, You may be right. It doesn't give the, the, the year at all. But, uh, after officers chased down and stopped the vehicle they asked the driver for his license instead of his license he hands them a, a beer. beer yeah i'm not gonna lie in a way that's kind of gangster that's, that's, <laughs> that's kind of gangster you know now. what um wasn't that uh the, the opening scene from the longest yard i think it was yeah adam sandler like i don't think he he hit a police car but he was he took the police on a chase and when they <laughs> when they finally he pulled him over, he's like, yeah. yeah, hold this. I do remember. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Was it the longest yard, though? Yeah. I think it Yeah, because he was uh, oh, that's Paul what Crew, him to jail. The, the quarterback. Yeah. Yes. I got you. Yeah. Um, the other one, Florida man steals car with baby inside and then drops it off at a nearby gas station. Dude, why? Why? Suspect may be a thief, but a kidnapper he is not. That's See, that's what I said. You know, at least he did drop the kid off. Yeah. According to the Palm Beach Post. A Florida man who deputies say stole a car with a baby strapped inside pulled over at a gas station where surveillance video shows him handing off the baby to a clerk before fleeing. Now, okay. take the baby, take the baby. The man <laughs> apparently take the baby, pleaded. take the baby, take, <laughs> take the baby, take it, get him, <laughs> take the baby. That was, I mean, I got, I got to, I got to commend him for that. Yeah, like, that's what I, that's what like, I, yeah. When you, you said did the that, right thing, I mean, you're doing the wrong thing. But, but you, you still did the right thing yes. also. Now, so. that's why I said it immediately. You said that. Now, with his charge, I'm... <clears throat> I, I wonder if they gave him kidnapping or wonder, also. Of course, they gave him kidnapping, but did they lessen the time? Because he did mm. say, hey, listen, I don't want this child hurt. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I don't know if I should say her name, but no. a lady who own, co-owns 
the Jack's Place restaurant located inside Sunoco gas station. Sunoco. So, well, I always said Sunoco. Do you Is really? it Sunoco? It's Sunoco. I always say Sunoco. Do you really? We don't even think we have those anymore here. No, we don't, but I remember yeah. the bumper stickers that said, if you see <laughs> yeah. this, you get like $10, $10 or yeah. Said the suspect knocked on the door of the station's convenience store okay, to get the attention of the overnight clerk. Surveillance photo shows the suspect dressed in a white tank top dark pants pulling in the dark pulling in the dark car i guess it's a dark car before he gets out takes the baby's car seat out of the car and okay. approaches the store yeah see i, I, I commend him for that yeah. i commend him for that but i don't know just um i would be curious to know if they'd lessened his sentence up a little bit you know yeah they probably still gave him kidnapping because oh, it's not well, like he, he returned did. the baby back to no, the no, no, owner. no. Yeah. kidnapping is whenever you remove someone from yeah. where they don't want or you take someone from one place to another without them wanting to do yeah. that literally yeah. if i picked Smokey up and took him into another room and he didn't want to go that's, <laughs> that's kidnapping. kidnapping that's kidnapping technically that, technically by law that's yeah. kidnapping yeah Man, such a crazy list today, man. We had uh, two members from Mayhem and uh, mm -hmm. King Diamond. Yeah. Trash Talkers, listen, we really want y'all to leave some comments about Mayhem. And, you know, just, a, man, that picture's engraved in my head oh, now. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, man, there's some people out there. Some of them are crazy. Man. That's why this is the most insane artist of all time. Yes, and this is, top three is next week. We didn't. We didn't know. We 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 don't even know who top three. We deliberately make sure we. This is how we do it. We 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 got the list and uh -huh. we black out the bottom <laughs> yeah, until yeah. we till we get to the very end. Yeah. So um, we have our people make sure we don't see yeah. ahead of the list. So. I mean, we do it just like it's our much more exciting that yeah, way. It, like our reactions. We don't yeah. we don't listen to nothing. We we just want to see it, read it. That's and you can tell just by us reading the synopsis. We you know what I mean? Like yeah. We can we're we're stumbling over words. We're doing stuff like that. <laughs> but that's what we do. Yeah, man. Hey, we're the trash talkers, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. So yes, guys. Next Tuesday will be the top three, and can't wait to see who's on that list. I know it's got to be Gigi Allen, though. I mean, if he's not, is Gigi Allen worse than Mayhem? Though that's that's, a question. that's the question. Hmm. Maybe they were farther down the list because it was more than one person. If they and listed yeah, well, it as a band, that has to be the craziest band of all time. Think about this: Sid Vicious and Johnny Rotten. They were in the same number. Yeah, these yeah, they guys. Were. These guys they had to separate these guys. Yeah. Exactly. God, dude, the album covers. Just There's no. In my head. I'm convinced. I mean, you guys can bring up who you want, and please do leave those down in the comment section. Who is worse? Who is more insane than Mayhem? In my opinion, right at this moment in time, Mayhem is the most insane band of all time. A hundred percent. There's no question. And I don't even need to see the documentary to make that statement. All I needed to see was the free. All I needed to see was the free. That album cover. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 Man. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on this uh, this beautiful Tuesday morning. You know, and <laughs> yeah. we appreciate all the reception that you guys have given us. And again, give us your thoughts in the comments. Mo, you got anything else, man? I think that's it for today, man. Awesome, guys. With that being said, my name is Barringer Hollywood Six. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan, and we are over and out. Deuces. Deuces.